Brandon and Trevor back again with another episode of Drinking Buddies. Today we have a fun episode. Not a lot of people know this beer style. We did have a previous episode with this beer style in it, but it didn't get a lot of views. So we're gonna we're gonna try it again. Uh, today we are doing white stouts. Some of you might say, "What the heck is that? What's a white stout? What are you silly? Stouts are dark and they're roasty." But we got four of them to try out. The yes, <laughs> they can be nice and crisp. First beer we have today, and award for the coolest can label, I like it. hands down, Leaves of Change Stout Blanc by Arvin Brewing, Arvin in Grand Rapids, Michigan. You already knew that, though, because you are dedicated to our channel, and you support us, and we thank mm -hmm. you for that. Stout it looks hazy. It does look hazy, yeah, I like that. Lacto sugar, I wonder. Okay. Stout Blanc. Blanc is Spanish for white? Yep. And I know that because of weeds, because the Hispanic guy always called Nancy Blanca. So clever. Was that, that was a good Hispanic voice? Blanca. Nine and a half percent white stout conditioned on cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, and lactose. Mm. What I'm excited for is that they did not add coffee. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to do this one first. Leaves a change. Leaves a change. And times is changing. Oh, <laughs> the times is changing. Vanilla. Very much so. And chocolate. It actually tastes like real chocolate. There's a lot of cocoa yeah. nibs in there. Dare I say it, kind of white chocolatey taste. I can see that. With like the way the vanilla mm -hmm. mixes with it. Yeah. And it's not like a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate. It's a weird, different yeah. chocolate flavor. Good. Yeah. Uh, lacto sugar just adds body for like a bigger mouthfeel, which a stout definitely uh, is used to having. But it's crisp. Mm -hmm. I what love percent it. is it? Nine and a half percent. I can tell you, you don't, you couldn't tell. No coffee boosts my score because coffee is my least favorite um, ingredient to add to a beer. I'm going right up with a four seven. This is the best white stout I've ever had. Lots and lots of flavor, no lack of flavor. Right. At all. True. I might have to agree with your four seven on that. You want to? Yeah. I absolutely love it. And it's not because we're sponsored by Arvin, I'll tell you that. Right. Arvin gets a lot of high scores from us, but that's just because they do quality stuff. So. Nope. But sponsor us. But yeah, shout out Arvin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're waiting. So what makes these so light body and clear compared to a regular? Um, it is the roastiness of the grains. You roast it, roast it, roast it, and that changes the flavor and the color. If you go all the way to dark black, you're going to get that roasty, bitter um, uh, beer flavor. But they didn't roast it, and so it kept that nice, crisp, clean, um, uh, not, you know, burnt uh, grain flavor. That's probably why it's so smooth and so crisp. So they use the same grains as you would in a cell, just with a less of a roast on them? Yeah, because they all come in different roasts, or yeah, in different roasts. So yeah, I mean, they just, they stuck with the really light roasts um, instead of going all the way over to like the dark uh, stout, you know, chocolate malt, uh, you know, bitter, uh, you know, black malt and stuff yeah. like that. So. It's just okay. so a white stout is just yeah a really light roast um, with the flavors added to it to give it that big stout flavor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And with it being nine and a half percent, this is right up there with a huge you know yeah yeah huge percentage for a stout. But yeah, you you couldn't tell because of how light and crisp it is. Saw this had to pick it up. Shout out to Trail Point. White Russian inspired blonde stout, seven and a half percent. Toss the ringer. Is brewed with copious amounts of oats, vanilla, lactose, and white Russian coffee, just the way the dude likes it. This sweet, full-bodied brew is sure to bowl you over, just like the cult classic it pays homage to. So put on some 70s rock, slip on your favorite bathrobe, and take her easy. Oh, yeah. I mean, just a light little... Light cake. Lactose mouthfeel, I can tell. Still looking for the vanilla. I get it. It might still be lingering from the Arvin. I can literally see coffee beans when I taste this. I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, like whole coffee beans. It's the smell of whole coffee beans. That's how this It tastes, tastes. how coffee smells. Yes. Yep. I'm bottom it. Um, yeah, lactose sugar mouthfeel, but the vanilla... And I get it. I get it. The vanilla? Yeah. The vanilla mixes with the mouthfeel of the lactose sugar. So that mouthfeel that I'm getting, I feel like it's just the lactose sugar, but there is a vanilla in there that gives it kind of that creaminess. And I guess I do get that 
Um, if I can be honest, I think the, the coffee is overpowering the vanilla. Um, with the oats and the lactose sugar, it is a really good body. Um, I really do like that. I, I just think the coffee is, is a little too much. I might be biased because I'm not a huge fan of coffee, but in the right amount, I do like it. I feel like it's over 4-1. Okay. I'm like more 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, area. I liked how the flavors came out more in the Arvin. Yeah. Like it was like you could tell flavors. Yeah. And this is kind of everything is just kind of more balanced, I guess, mm -hmm. to where not everything is like popping out at you. But the I, like, I like the coffee flavor in it. I like, I mean, I think it's good. I'll, I'll hit it with a 4 2. And um, because the little bit of extra coffee, if Arvin would have added extra coffee or would have added coffee, I think it would have been perfect um this just i mean them two could have been really well uh you know mixed four two four five uh third beer white coffee stout um this is a 6.8 percent white stout with ash coffee and cocoa nibs this is this kind of threw me off a little bit this is an eastern market brewing company beer but brewed and canned in collaboration with Ferndale Project in Ferndale, Michigan. So I bought this at Ferndale, thinking it was a Ferndale beer. Um, not mad about the collaboration at all. Um, and it's just a feature. Just a, yeah, I mean, just yeah, just like just like Ardis. You know, right. kind of like a Wiz Khalifa and um, uh, and in Room Five. You're like, why will those people work together? But sometimes they make beautiful symphonies. <sighs> I'd have to say. Wiz Khalifa can bang out some symphonies. <laughs> <laughs> White Coffee Stout, Ferndale Project, Eastern Market, Collaboration. Let's get it. Mmm. Coffee. Cocoa Nibs? Your face says it all. Absolutely no Cocoa Nibs. Afterwards. This is a strong coffee. Yeah. And I mean, it says white coffee stout. I guess I should have known that. I'm not mad about it. It still does taste pretty good. It's got like the the bitterness of drinking a cup of coffee it's, 100%. My mouth is dry. It's like kind of drying yeah. out a little bit. The cocoa. The cocoa nibs come in at the end a little bit just to try to round out the, the ending mouth uh, drying bitterness. Yeah. Because it is bitter. I mean, I'll tell you that. My mouth is like... Right, it does not coat your mouth like a stout. No, and there should have been some lactose sugar in there to kind of help that that cotton mouth feeling. Yeah, outside of coffee, there's not much. Yeah, I do have to. I do have to say, does anybody watching this know if beers with coffee have a caffeine content? How do you like that for a question? I gotta believe they do because they're probably not using decaffeinated coffee. So, so I feel like if you use the beans. In the beer, you're only getting the aromas, the stuff on the inside. It could be on the outside of the shell, but the stuff on the inside, you're missing out on. So is there a lot of caffeine content? No, if there is. I think it's a very minuscule amount if there is caffeine content to it. But I want to know if there's trace amounts of I guess caffeine. You, I guess you'll know when you're laying in bed. I'll know tonight, yeah, 9.30 at night, and I got to work at 8, and I'm drinking coffee beers all night. So if you masked a little bit more of the coffee flavor with different adjuncts, like more cocoa nibs or vanilla or lactose sugar for the mouthfeel to kind of, you know, round that out, um, then I would feel that it was a white stout, more than a white coffee stout. But that is what they went for. Yeah, and I think for what they went for, they... I ain't nailed it. You uh, could, yeah. yeah, and you can almost think of tasting beers as all five senses. How it looks, oh, it you can how it feels, mm. how it tastes, how it smells, and um I mean here yeah, hot taste. Yeah, what, what do you hear from it? <laughs> oh creepy. Well oh, that's stout for sure. You want to hit it with a four? Yeah, I think a four oh a just score because it is a, it's a coffee stout. They it's coffee. 100%. It's got a little bit of chocolate to it. Yep. Fourth and final beer. I thought I was saving the coffeeistest beer, uh, White Stout, um, for the end. Apparently, I wasn't. That white coffee stout really killed my mouth and my taste buds. Uh, fourth and final beer, Shorts Brewing's Tiramisu Blonde. Experimental Blonde Ale. I love my experimental beers. 
Uh, brewed with milk, sugar, coffee, and cocoa nibs. I can't can crack it for me. Yeah. I, I don't have my cracker. Oh, yeah, like a Ooh. man. Okay, that is the yes. darkest one. That's like straight amber. Yeah. I hope that's not from the coffee. It's almost like an Oktoberfest looking. Oh, no kidding. You're right. I've never had tiramisu. I don't know about you. <laughs> tiramisu Blondale, shorts. More balanced with the flavors. The milk sugar is a little on the lighter side, which I'm not mad about because it's not as sweet as the Arvin. But it cuts the bitterness of the coffee, and there is a lot of coffee flavor. So it probably would have been bitter if we didn't have the milk sugar in it. Yeah. That was a tough one. I think it's more balanced with the cocoa nibs and the coffee. I just, it may be more balanced, but I don't know if I like the balance. Like, I feel okay. like it's just at a weird point that they're kind of mixing together, not where I personally would like it to be. So sometimes we'll say, wow, all those flavors are all separate and they come in, boom, right, one right, right after another. They don't merge together. These are merging for you. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yep. And I, I do get that because the coffee and the chocolate are both together and I can't... You right. can't decipher them. Right. But I don't necessarily know if I like the way it's combined. Old coffee. Okay. Kind of, you know what I mean? Because it's not so bright and like it's like coffee beans. Yeah, it just has a coffee flavor. Right. It's, it's like hidden kind of. I get coffee, I get a little bit of chocolate, and I get a nice creamier mouthfeel than I had on the last one. I mean, I think yeah. this is a oh, 100%. Yeah, this is a pretty good white stout. It's the least flavorful. You're absolutely right. The flavors do not pop out. Right. And you're right. They're just they're in there with the carbonation and then with this nice mouth feel afterwards. You're absolutely right. They do feel <laughs> You know what I mean? When you get in an argument with your spouse and you just kind of want to... <laughs> you just kind of want to bark some Yeah. I'm probably at a 4 or 2 with it. I, I do yeah. like it. I can't rate it higher than the 4 oh white coffee style. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for that, I'm at like a 3, 9, 3, 8. You want to do 3, 8 and I'll do 4, 2? Yeah. White coffee style uh, by Eastern Market and Ferndale Project. I'm not a huge fan of the bitterness of coffee. I'm not like a really big coffee guy. Um, they did do what they wanted to do. Um, just not my favorite, you know, not my cup of tea. Tiramisu style, that was really fun. It was not a white style, um, but it did have, it was a blonde ale with the flavors of a style. Cocoa nibs, lactose sugar for the mouthfeel, and a little bit of coffee bitterness. I think the flavors went pretty well together. Um, just a little bit on the lower end. Toss the ringer, white Russian inspired white stout. But, again, there was just something different. I mean, the, the vanilla did come through, which I did like. Um, but, uh, again, for some reason, I think the coffee came through a little too much. I do have to give it up to Arvin. Again, sorry. Uh, you know we love them. Vanilla, lactose sugar, cocoa nibs. My favorite adjuncts to put in a stout. They did it at a nice drinkable level. 9.5% alcohol. You couldn't even tell. Easy drinking. Love them. Okay, so the shorts brew tiramisu, or that rhymes. Uh huh. Yeah. It? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. It had a weird. It had a little off flavor to it, and now that Brandon said his, I think it's more that it was a blonde ale. The malt bill was probably different from that to these. Yes. Okay, I did not even think about that. That's why it's bringing up last. Oh, the white coffee style. A lot of coffee. A lot, a lot of coffee. No point toss a ringer. Had I think it had awesome flavor, and the coffee and cocoa were kind of right where you wanted them to be. I feel like Ironman, try it. That it is just every flavor's happen. We really learned what makes a stout a stout. Yeah. I mean, with all the different uh, five senses, these were all great. Honestly, definitely try all of them, and mm -hmm. we'll see you next time. Yeah. See you next time.